Aaron, it's hard to believe that pickleball could be considered a complex and complicated issue, but that's how some Pacific Grove City Council members described it tonight before they decided to limit the number of days and hours people can play pickleball at a city park. Dina Stansbury of Pacific Grove is a grandma and pickleballer. I'm 71 and a bunch of seniors like to play and it's a great it's a great sport. I can't get around for tennis, but pickleball is just right. The active senior is one of the estimated 3 million people in the US now playing pickleball, one of the fastest growing sports around. It's growing by 12% a year. That's 350,000 added every year. So, it's a growing sport. It's not going away. Though some would like it to go away, at least from their neighborhood, and they showed up at Wednesday's Pacific Grove Council meeting to complain about the traffic and noise created by the pickleballers at the Morris Dill courts. I personally live a full block away from the courts that they use for pickleball. Inside my house, with the doors and windows closed, I can still hear pickleball. Council members discussed looking at sound barriers and limiting the hours and days people can play pickleball. At least one neighbor suggested an outright ban. And literally, I see my neighbors that are in their 70s and 80s uh, losing health because of the effects and the stress created by pickleball. It's bringing a lot of people who probably don't get outside activity outside in their neighborhoods free of charge, which is really important for people. So tonight again, the Pacific Grove City Council deciding to limit the number of days and hours people can play pickleball at Morris Dill Courts. And among that, uh, they decided that no pickleball will be allowed to be played on Sundays. And they decided to revisit the issue in 90 days to give staff time to document and assess the concerns of neighbors and come back with possible solutions. A decision tonight that didn't sit well with many pickleball players. Aaron? Not a surprise there. So Felix, it sounds like the noise is the biggest issue. I mean, there's other issues, but that's the, the big one. That appears to be the biggest concern. Uh, the equipment they're using, uh, wiffle ball, pounding against the paddle ball, but uh, they also voice concerns about traffic, increased traffic in the area. So those two, those, the two major concerns coming out of tonight's meeting and uh, the city council decided they need more to, needed more time to uh, assess these issues and they'll revisit it in 90 days. In 90 days. All right, Felix, thank you. The city will also hire a sound engineer to monitor the noise level of pickleball players and come back with recommendations for possible sound barriers. <laughs>